Welcome to Corporal's Winter Wonderland. Seven days have passed, which gives you another solo overnighter in the woods. And it's going to be like this for the next two to three days, so it's going to be outstanding AF. Got something special in store for you guys. Um, I wanted to hold off on this video for a while, because it's going to be a precursor to something huge. But I thought, you know what? Let's get out here and get her done, Corporal style. We've got something there in the background. I want to check that bad boy out, so let's get to it. Check that bad boy out, an uprooted tree. Okay, so about eight to 10 months ago, I did a video titled Solo Overnight in an Uprooted Tree. And we built a raised bed, had a long fire. It was outstanding. Why? Because I built it. Um, but the thing that caught my eye for this one is this large depression here. It's about two and a half to three foot deep. And the dimensions are almost perfect. Looking about five foot wide by about six to seven feet in length. That's the size of an emergency blanket. So I got thinking, why not use this as an experiment for an underground shelter? So get ready. We're going to do a solo overnight in an underground shelter. I'm going to grab some coffee. We'll come back here and address some safety concerns. Then we'll get to it. That's what I'm talking about right there. After I drink this, I'll be so caffeinated if I pick this damn tree up and just throw it. All right, um, safety concerns. I know someone's gonna say it. That tree could upright itself. Well, here's the thing. It's not Lord of the Rings, okay? Um, this tree's been down for probably 10 years. The entire trunk is solid. It's not punk wood or punky wood. And it's not gonna just all of a sudden stand up and land on top of me. It would have done that by now all the windstorms that are happening out here. Um, so in that aspect, I'm good to go. Um, another concern is any debris on this falling off, but I'm thinking, dig this bad boy out, fighting hole style. Talking maybe about four foot wide by about five foot deep or six foot deep. Chisel out a bed area, lean to roof on this bad boy, framed out of course, lock down, and I'm thinking we want to heat this bad boy internally with a rocket stove fireplace. Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self Alliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corpus Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. You can see the footprint here, another three foot, we're good to go. I'm estimating about four hours. Um, just like a Marine Corps fighting hole. Um, four hours, you're good to go, and then you bury it back up and move on. But we're here for the night. So, one thing I'm doing, I'm replacing these open pockets here as I work. Just pack it in there and be like, yeah! And we're good to go. At some point, these will all be filled in with a nice 
vertical wall straight down to our bed, all the way around, and we're good to go. All right, man. It's like I'm back in Nam or something. Um, here's the method for the madness we're doing here. The dirt I remove, I can build the walls higher. So in a sense, three feet and three feet makes six foot. So I'm thinking, put this right here, and it will give me sort of like a barrier. And now I can put my clay on here and just keep building this wall up all the way along here. It's got some kind of shelf to rest on, so hopefully that'll work out. Wax on, right the circle. Wax off, left the circle. So far so good, we're looking outstanding.
Okay, let's go ahead and address the safety concern because someone's going to bring it up. Now, I just built a water sump inside there, and here's the method to that madness. Those that are prior service, especially 0311s or 11 Bravos, you know all about fighting positions. Fighting hole, foxhole. This is the exact same idea. At some point, water's going to get inside this. You cannot avoid it. You're digging in the earth. And in an area like this where there's nothing but clay, you're going to be prone to seepage, which is what's actually happening right now. Now, it's not a lot of water, just enough to make it a soupy clay mess to piss you off. So how do we get around that? Well, we're going to use it to my advantage. This actual hole here is sloped that direction, and I placed a hole right there. So the water will actually go into that hole and fill it up. Once it fills up to a certain level, I can get a nesting cup and simply bail it out, leaving me dry all night. And there it is. Like I said, on and off for the next three days. Let's go ahead and finish this bed off, get a hard lid on this bad boy, and then we'll be good to go.
It's already a lot warmer in here. The wind is blocked 100%. Um, I'm happy. But talk about flashbacks. <sighs> 3 7 Lima Company, 1999, baby. Hmm. Anyway, here's our wood log put up here. Here's our berm. There's the outside's topsoil. So I'm thinking chisel out a fireplace somewhere in here. No more than probably half the length of this shovel. Get outside and tunnel down Minecraft style. And then I want to light that bad boy because I think it's going to be really warm in here. Use a poncho for a door and we're going to be in business. Okay, so fireplace is almost complete. The dirt that I dug out from the inside is nice and fresh. It's not frozen, very pliable, like how clay is supposed to be. So I can build that fireplace up a little bit and then we're gonna light that bad boy. Boom. Let's go ahead and pause one more time. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
that's outstanding. I'm happy with that. So we got Little Smoky Bacon Chili. Mm. Had some cornbread, be perfect. Tell you what. Twenty degrees outside. Yeah, I can feel the heat pumping off this thing. So give this bad boy a couple hours, it'll probably be about sixty in here. And people say, Oh, it's only sixty. Right, but my wind's being blocked now on all four sides. I use a poncho for a door over here. And I'm warm. I'm toasty. So I can get down on this. I mean, this is not much to look at in here, but um, for a full day's work, and I'm warm right now versus sitting out there, I'll take it. Let me finish this bad boy off. Catch you all in a few. Toasty warm. I'm happy with this. 20 degrees outside, and it's right around between 52, 54, somewhere in there. It's fluctuating right in front of this bad boy. So I firmly believe that, give it time, say probably an hour or two, maybe even three, it's going to be probably in the 60s in here. And if that's as warm as it gets, I'll take it because being in here with three walls, well, a fourth wall, put a poncho up right here. Um, no wind and 60 degrees i'll take that over being out there wind blown wind chill factor of negative 10 and being exposed to the elements so this right here was a precursor and experiment if you would um to something else and i'm happy with the outcome so i'm gonna end this bad boy off right now a lot of work went in this someone's gonna ask well how long did it take what were the hours this is a solo overnight it's gonna be 12 hour day and It'll be dark in less than an hour. So um, I need to collect firewood and get some water and settle in for the night. The last thing I want to say real quick to my legions. Um, I appreciate every one of you. You guys came through for me once again. Um, from what I'm told, I'm back in people's feeds. People are seeing me pop up. They're getting notifications. Um, and I appreciate that. I say it every single time from the bottom of my heart. Without you all, I'm nothing. And I mean that. Um, show YouTube that you want Corporal's Corner. And I'm going to give you Corporal's Corner. So, with that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page. And two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you want Corporal's Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box now please do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button then ring that notification bell once you ring that bell please select all notifications as always thank you for your comments views and support thanks for watching get out in the field have some fun that's getting hot and i'll catch you next time that's what i'm talking about right there <laughs>